Hi, this is going to be a video on how to tear for hermit crabs. So as you can see, I have a hermit crab. And then this is a pretty big tank. Eh. So, um, so I'm just going to go over the basics and stuff like that. So when you first get a hermit crab, this is a 5.5 gallon tank, which is a 5.5 gallon. Um, so it's big enough to hold two. You know, it's like 5 gallons per, like 5 gallons for one. So for 10 gallons, it should be two, two hermit crabs. But I only have one hermit crab in this one. So yeah. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you my hermit crab. I'm gonna like basically teach you um, like which hermit crabs to choose. See, you want an active one. One that pops out of its shell. When, you know, you're holding him and stuff. I don't know if you can see him. That's him. He's coming out, which is good. He's really active. So, yes. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is you'll need some sand. I buy play sand. And you want about two inches or more of that stuff. This is about two inches. So, so because they like to dig. So this is a whole bag of play sand for five bucks at Home Depot for fifty. It's fifty pounds, the biggest that they have. You can also get like plastic plants and stuff like that for them. But so you'll need sand. You'll need climbing things. So what I have is I use I have this shell that looks like this. It's big. It's not one of those that they change it to. That's just one of the climbing things. And then I have this bigger one. That this one is easier to climb. As you can tell it has like those little spikes coming but there's nothing inside of it. He can probably switch it. Switch into the shell when he gets older if he loves to be that long. So this is, I like the climb around. This is this rack of this rock that I have at the back. He likes to climb around too. He also sometimes climbs in his water and salt water dish. So that's another thing. You'll need some salt water. And you'll need some fresh water and make sure it's not just top water. You'll need something like this to mist the tank every single day. So I'm just going to show you how to mist it. You just spray it. A few squirts will do. Um, so yeah. You'll also need a lid. Um, I know that this is bad because it has like, and the humidity can come out. But I have, I have foil so that I, you know, like sometimes I, like, I wrap it on top of the, little thing that's the humidity. So then the next thing you'll need is some food. Uh, these are just homemade treats for my food. This is my pooper scooper. This is just a plastic spoon. So yeah. you need a, wa a, a fresh water dish and you'll need a salt water dish. They cannot share dishes. So yeah. And something that you can use for food is this thing. It's just this shell. It's really tiny. Um, and it's good because my whole hermit crab fits in there. And he, he loves to eat. So I give him about two pinches of the food. So that's good. Next thing that you'll need are some extra shells that he can change it to. As you can tell, hermit crabs do not grow shells. Just like us, we need to buy new clothes every time we grow. 
so. What you need is you'll need you need really big shells like this one. I have a really big shell. Like, let me show you. Like every time you get a shell, you need to spray it like inside or wash it or something. It doesn't matter if you wash it with tap water. You need a really big shell, like two levels up than what it's gonna turn into. And you need a shell that that looks about the same size, a little bit bigger, like the next level up. And then you need a shell that's just a little bit smaller. But you want natural shells, not painted shells like these. Hold on. You don't want painted shells like these two that I have here. I bought them, but then I noticed that painted shells are bad. So, I took those away. And you want natural shells like these and the ones that I have in my aquarium. You also need something to bathe them with. I just have this little container that they came in. I also I have a printer. I mean, I have like a little schedule. And I have like a little hermit crab pamphlet right there. I don't know if you can see if it's right there. Right there. This thing. But yeah. So I want those things. And the next thing you'll need is you'll need you'll need a little house so that they can hide inside. They like to do that for protection. And as you can see, my hermit crab loves to dig and inside I don't know if you can exactly see it, but where my house was it's like really like he, he was digging a whole lot. See that little thing right there? Then, yeah, you can see that. So, that, that, that's actually, it means that he's, a, he's either a bit scared or he's about to molt or he's just doing it for the fun of it. So, I think he's just doing it for the fun of it because every time I try holding him, he, pop, he always pops out of his shell. And another thing is, if your hermit crab doesn't pop out of his shell, you just want to take your misting spray thing. You can just, only one little tiny spray would do the trick. See, he's popping out right now, but I need to try like, to bring him in his shell. So I just touch one of his claws or something. Put it on this thing so you don't do But I'm just going to put it like that. And then you just want to just take him and then oh another thing is one just one spray. Another thing is that you can use fresh water um for like um fish water conditioner. That'll be okay instead of spending like five bucks on you know um, hermit crab water conditioner, but as you can see, that really helps because he's moving a lot. So, I'll show you him. Oh, and I'm gonna teach you. You should have a heater, but I don't, like, I don't have one. So, I, I use this, like, this homemade thingy. I don't really know if it works, but the next day when I come in, it's usually pretty warm in this tank, so I'm thinking it works. I'm not sure. So I just tape it onto the side of the tank. Like that. And it works. Sort of. So it just looks like that. And now I'm just gonna teach you how to bathe them. So you're just gonna put the I'm just gonna put the lid on. There's no need to put the humidity thing on, so I'm just gonna put it. I'm gonna take it the bathing thing. I'm gonna put, you're gonna put water, um, and then you wanna put water conditioner like this.
very little water so that they don't drown because they will drown, trust me. My you. So just take the little cup. Take your cup and I just put, you want to put very little water, I don't know if you can see that, but then you can take so that you can put them off to dry in. So you're going to take your water conditioner. As you can see, I'm using fish water conditioner. Just going to put maybe one drop for the conditioner that I have. Then you're just going to stir it with the tap. Top, whatever. Tap. So you're just going to close that up. Okay. Stir this a little bit by shaking it a bit. Okay. Then, um, if, you, if your water condition is not instant, then you have to wait. Because mine, mine is instant, so I have to wait. But, you know, just to wait a few seconds. Then, you know, just a few seconds. So, then you're just gonna take your hermit craft. You're just gonna let him get in there. You want to you want to put the water up to where his eyes are because you won't want to cover his eyes. I think it's a bit bad for them because you know they're getting their eyes wet. So just dunk dunk them in there. That make sure they're when you take them out you see that their claws and stuff. They're not sandy anymore, so you're just gonna dip them in there. Just gonna slosh them around like this. Just boom. And just let them walk around by themselves. Just, you wanna leave them in there for about a few seconds. So, a few seconds will do the trick. Okay. Now you're done with that, you're gonna take your container. And you're just gonna let them flow around. I don't know if you can see that, but you wanna make sure that he gets all nice and dry before you put him in. So I think 